We, we, we talk about rock stars that come and go here in indie style and they tour buses and stuff. Not often we have movie makers, directors. Vincent Vittorio and Nathaniel McGill join us, part of the American made movie bus tour. Made in right. American made movie tour bus. Which yeah. way is it? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Do you know what city you're in? Movie tour. Do you know what yeah. city you're in? Yeah, it's a good quiz question. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 32 cities in 32 days. This is just one of your stops. I know you, you mm. both directed and produced this film. That's right. Uh, tell us a little bit what it's about. Well, it's a documentary exploring the relationship we all have to manufacturing in this country. Yeah, so uh, just whether you realize it or not, there's, a, there's this connection that we all have to the things that we're buying and what's made in America. Where did the idea blossom come from? Was there an aha moment mm -hmm. or is it through conversations? Yeah, you know, my family actually uh, came from manufacturing. And so uh, it's always kind of been something that's been in the background. And so as we got into filmmaking, uh, we really looked at topics that were that we could approach in an objective in an objective way and that's kind of the, the mantra that mantra that we go off of with our company is taking an issue that really connects with the viewer in order to give them a better understanding or a broader understanding of a topic without getting political and that's kind of what we did with this film yeah so we started looking at the food movement and we noticed that you know a lot of people were buying stuff at farmers markets a lot of people were looking for that organic label yeah. mm -hmm. and now you go into the grocery store they have an entire section of the store that's designated organic food so it got me thinking about manufacturing again and me and Vincent having conversations about this as a topic, whatever happened to the Made in America label, oh. and do people think about that when they're buying stuff at the store, the people behind the products? Uh, how does that affect your local economy? Now, there's one thing to, to, to make a documentary and then, you know, tuck it under your shoulder and go on the road. It's another thing to go on the road like you've this done here. Like, I mean, this is like Lollapalooza, <laughs> Bonnaroo style. Yeah, no, well, absolutely. Well, we, we, you know, the goal is we really want to get the attention before we hit theaters nationwide. We hit theaters nationwide on August 30th, and so we're screening the film in each city, having an advanced screening, as well as really getting to hear the story of each city we're visiting. Because there's a lot of stories we weren't able to include in the film, yeah. Indianapolis being oh, one of them here, that has sure. a great connection to manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Our conversations with the chamber here and just being able to uh, talk out, you know, exactly what's going on in economic development, manufacturing, entrepreneurship, in, you know, in Indy has been, you know, one of the reasons why we put it on the map to come here, screen the film, talk about the film. Um, and that's what led us to doing the tour. So uh, a as we added to city after city, there's just a lot going on in manufacturing in this country, and we wanted to get in as many as we could. And, and you're coming with us, right, on the oh, tour? Oh, yeah. They're right. coming with us on the road. road. You, as far on as the record. participation right. goes, I mean, you have a message for the people that are viewing the film Absolutely. about how they can participate. Exactly. I mean, we're asking people to do three basic things. Mm -hmm. It's just know what you buy, you know, take an evaluation of what, how, you, how your spending's already going. Mm -hmm. Look at the label. See, see how you're doing. And then buy where you live. You know, look look at things locally. Uh, you know, maybe even in your city. Uh, look at your state on the state level, and then on the national level, uh, because ultimately there are people behind the products that you're buying. Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, those are jobs, and in a time when that's a, a huge issue, yeah. uh, you can actually do something. And so share that message with everyone, get it out there, um, and uh, and we can all do something to be a part of this. Great concept we can all do. Now, in terms of a documentary, the idea is to be completely objective, but oftentimes directors at least have a preconceived notion about what they're going to find. Did you have any of those that got blown up? In, you know, oh, we we a started with the history of manufacturing. You know, we looked at after World War II, uh, manufacturing was a huge part of this country. Uh, and then we kind of followed that through the decline of manufacturing. We thought for a little while that, you know, the story was going to have uh, an ending that said, oh, well, manufacturing's declined. There's not much stuff that's made here anymore. But the pleasant surprise that we found just, just in the timing of when we started this project uh, till today um, in the stories of manufacturers, we saw this uptick. We saw people starting to think about this again. And, you know, had something probably to do with the economic recession and us all reevaluating our spending and, and our contribution to our local economies. And, uh, and, and that was really the positive thing to say, wow, this is a very inspiring story. This is a hopeful tale. And so when people walk out of the movie in each city, we're getting responses that, you know, they feel inspired and mm -hmm. they feel hopeful and they want to do something. And this issue is really hitting home with a lot of people. So, Well, I know the movie is tonight down at AMC on the south side. I also went to the website. I know you can purchase the movie, do a pre-order. So right. if you're not able to get there tonight, sure. uh, you have that option as well. Thank you. We have all the, all the linkage and everything on IndieStyle.tv. Gentlemen, you're in Indianapolis. Okay. You're headed, <laughs> you're headed to Detroit after this. I read the back of your, your trailer. So <laughs> we wish you safe travels. Thanks for stopping by here. Have you, had you been to Indianapolis before? Once before. Once before. Have you heard no. of the Andretti family? Yeah. From racing? Yeah. 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 So yeah. The least we could do is present you with a yeah. race car driver. And John that's Andretti what we that's here. what we have coming up next. He's gonna talk about that great annual.